Hey guys, Dunlocks here, back with our blind playthrough of Subnautica Below Zero. So last time we left off, we got the organs. We scanned the organs of the alien. Um, now we basically have to get to the surface and presumably go into the polar worm area. Um, and either his tissues will be out there, or that'll be the way to Outpost Zero. Maybe both. The only question is whether we want to create the Snow Fox. I don't know how. Oh, wait, what? Uh, that's weird. Why are we... That was weird. We were, like, moving forward. But, uh, okay. So I don't quite know how to make the Snow Fox. And, uh, yeah, I think we go up in this way. I'm thinking for the snow fox, we either maybe build a base and then, uh, presumably use that little pad, the recharge pad to maybe that will, will purchase it. Oh yeah, there's the, uh, there's the dude. Let's pick up the, um... Pick up the crystal sulfur, crystalline sulfur. Because we might, we might need more of that. Try not to smack the sides too much. Yeah, beautiful area. Beautiful area. There's that. Is it going to come for us? The problem is I don't quite know how to... Yep, here it comes. That's right. Piss off. You blimey git. I don't... I don't know. I love... Where am I going now? Uh, probably towards... Okay, so that's... Meta's thing is above us, but I don't know where we're supposed to go. Let's try it this way. Because this area is actually fairly small, I think. Regardless, we'll go this way. I don't know if we need more kyanite or how much we need. I feel like I probably have enough, but who knows. Yeah, they're just giving you the propulsion things. Whoop. Yep, well, that's what happens when you whack, uh... If this takes us out, then we'll just... We'll just head this way, you know? I think this takes us out to, uh... Well, maybe. Whoop. A little bit of whacking. This looks like it goes up. Oh, another one, huh? Yep. Now how about... Go away. So that's... Is that the same one, or is that another one? It's hard to say. Thought this went up, but maybe I'm going in circles. Are you coming back? Yep. You'd think you'd learn. You'd learn I'm spicy. I'm a spicy boy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to. I don't know what that means, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm rocking it. This might go up. It's so hard to tell. Yeah, I think so. I think we're going to end up out. Coming out where we came out the first time. Now, in the old... In the last game, these little things you couldn't scan. I wonder if we could do it now.
Uh, looks like no. Can we take a sample? No. <sighs> well. So my thought is... That's right, that's the big one. My thought is that if we build the snow fox, the polar worm will come for us and we'll... I mean, we may have to. We may have to because there's the whole jump booster thing. I suspect that's gonna... You know... I suspect we'll need that to progress. So... But maybe not. But maybe not, who knows. It might be worth just attempting to... Just attempting to run through there and just see. Is this... You think this is the way out? And if not, then we'll build the uh, the snow fox. What would really annoy me is if you need the jump if you need the jump booster to to clear the end, right? Like you get all the way to the end, and then it's like, oh no, you need the jump booster. More crash fish, huh? That sucks. Where are we going? Oh, you. Yep, you got me. Yeah, that's the thing. I couldn't even tell. Didn't know. All right, well, back to hand base alpha. We need silver, lithium. We'll take some lithium. Do I want to open those? Not the little crates, not so much, no. Quartz. I remember when I went back the first time, I passed like tons of lithium and I'm like, I don't need lithium. I still... No, oh, here's, well, here's some, we'll, we'll grab it. There's some more. Looks like another few pieces. Oh, is it coming at me? Probably. Excuse me, Mr. Crypto. Could you leave me alone there? Well, if I see a bunch of silver, I'll get it. I have enough lithium, I think. I grabbed, what, four or five pieces? Where's the big guy? He's right behind me? Probably. Yeah, we have the defense system enabled now. That'll be, it'll be fine. Right, so, to repeat myself for the 15th time, I think we'll try going under the cold area. Oh, a couple things of silver. Possibly. Possibly. Well, we got two. That's not bad. Is that more? We'll, um, yeah, we'll try to get there just on foot because it doesn't look like that big of an area. And if we avoid, I'm pretty sure they said the polar worm footsteps do not attract it. Now, if it does, if we start getting out there and, and it eats us or whatever, then, uh, then yeah, probably use the snow fox. We might not have an option if we need to jump. So, we'll see. We'll see, but I, I'm not... I'm not super enthusiastic about building a land base. 
because I'm pretty sure that's what you need to do in order to make that. I don't know if you need that charging pad for the Welcome snow fox, the which is presumably the moon pool. Um, I, I just don't know. Does the mobile vehicle bay, do you build it? Like, do you bring it on land? What happens if you drop it on land? Can it construct the snow fox there? I mean, that might be what we need to do, actually, but... Silver... Yeah, see, we're out of silver. Magnetite. We have the rock rubs, which we probably don't need. Maybe I should just toss those. Because it seems like any area where we... Where we do need them is, um... has them, right? So... Eat some peppers. There we go. Let's see if we can drop the grubs into the bioreactor. Probably not. You can. Well. Right on, I guess. Again, Sam's necklace. I'm not sure what we do with that. But I'll keep it on us. And... Get a couple more things of water. Alright, switch out for the... Cold suit. Boom. I mean, we don't need the sea glide, but I'm going to take it just because I... Whatever. You know, we may end up needing to go underwater for some reason. We have flares. We have the knife. We have basically our normal stuff, including the habitat builder if we need it. Pangling, of course. Food, of course. I mean, that's, that's everything at the moment. Let's uh, save. And then we'll try making a run for it, I guess. I don't... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really know what else to do at this point. I mean, I, I know we need to look for the body. I know we need to find the body. I have no real... Aside from telling me I need to do that stuff, I don't know why I'm doing it. It's kind of like the same with the, um... Going into the, presumably, the polar worm area, because... I know it's an area I haven't been in, which, you know, it would stand to reason that there is another you know, that the alien body is out there. I suppose we could still try going off the map, but... Maybe we'll do that at the end. Oh man. That's probably the floater, or bladder fish, or whatnot. Okay. Do we have every- I mean, we do. We've basically prepared as much as we can. Let's go get eaten. Let's go get eaten by a giant monster. Uh, it's up this way, right? And yes, I just don't want to. I just don't want to get eaten. All right, 
Alright, well, let's see. Run! Quartz, yeah. Here, right? And, and that's the thing. Do I go up? Do I go down? Probably not down, but let's try going. Because there's no... Well, we're heading west. Now we're heading southwest. This is probably not going to be the right way, but we'll follow it. Ooh, this is bad. This feels bad. It's a big open area. That doesn't make me feel good. Well, then again, maybe this is the way. Let's pull up the map. Not personal log. And that's the other thing. When was the last time she did a personal log? Well, right. Glacial Basin. So it's like you go across and that's not drawn. But here... I mean, I guess probably both paths eventually lead you to the same place. You just have to keep going... Uh, north. Northeast. Presumably. I saw some peppers over here. We'll eat one of those. Yep, lots of these. With little titanium things in it. I, I, you know... If I had to guess... Oh, well, let's get a couple peppers then, because we're in a cave. If I had to guess, I'd say... Oh, right on. Or, or veins. Ladders. Got it. And lights. Follow the lights, I suppose. What? What was that? Oh, Manny, now is not the time. That's not the time to jump up and scare me. I see you, my cat. There he is. He's like a little shark. Always searching for food. So how'd you do? Did you eat anything? Yeah? No? No, yes? <sighs> see, I don't know what that sound was. Would you like to get in my lap? How much time do we have? Never enough. Never enough time. I will pet you vigorously. How about that? Is that all right? All right. Almost done with my coffee. I made myself a big mug of hot tea to follow that. Because I'm not... not quite ready for alcohol yet. Want some more caffeine first? Alright, you. Um, would you like to move? Actually, he's fine. He's out of the way right now. Alright, so... Do I walk? Your, your butt is kind of in the way, though, Manny. I'm gonna... Oh my gosh. Listen. <laughs> How about you get in my lap then? Here, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right, are you gonna lay down? You gonna lay down, my little one? Look at this belly. Why is it so nice? Yeah, I, it's possible it's the wind. I'm, but I was backing towards the cave because I'm like, ah, eh, they're probably not gonna let the polar worm go into caves. Like, caves will probably be safe, even though, theoretically speaking, it would probably just worm its way right into the cave and eat you. Um. Yep. You are cute. Would you like to lay down? Would you like to lay down, or are you gonna 
You're gonna molest me now? Is that how this is gonna go? Oh, oh, uh, watch out for the shoulder. Okay, yeah, we're gonna gonna do this a little. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh, you. Pretty sure I can't play like this because I need to sort of hold him with my left arm, like he's gotta be held close. Oh, you. Oh, you. Plus, if I jump, if I jump like a jump scare, he'll freak out and bolt, and who knows where he'll go. Possibly up and over, digging the claws in the whole way. That's never good. You are so cute, but I'm trying to do something right now. Your dad is trying to do something, okay? Okay? Yeah? Yeah? Oh. Oh, you. You're such a cuddler. All right, well, can we, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Manny, I would like to take a cuddle break, but I cannot. Just lay down, just lay down right there. Can you do this? As much as I love cuddling with you, Manny. Oh my gosh, you were cute and annoying at the same time. Cute annoying. And see, this is what I mean. Now you're in front of the monitor again, you silly cat. And then you're walking around there. Can you... Oh, I do love you. You just want pets? What do you want? Back into the lap? Okay. Back into the lap. Showing your butthole to the, the camera, huh? <laughs> Kitty butt. Look at that tail. Look at that tail whipping back and forth. He wants something. Cuddles, but also food, probably. You're, you're doing this again, really? Didn't I just... You don't want me to kiss your face! Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. You and your brother are both crazy weirdos. Yep. Yes, you are. Oh, bless you. Listen, my cat, could you, could you not? If I stream, this is going to be a real... Or if I ever get back into streaming, this is going to be a real pain. Listen, I love you, but let's... Okay, yes, lay down. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. A little kitty flump. All right. All right, more peppers. Good. Good, great. Grand. I assume we're supposed to go up this way. I assume we're supposed to follow the lights. It's just an assumption, though. I have no idea. Yeah, we'll eat a pepper. Why not? Keep our fluids high. Don't want to. Don't want to go into the crate. Not really. Um. Maybe I'm maybe I'm not supposed to, because this looks like a cliff. Okay then. But we have some alien stuff over there. Can I just can I just fall right here without hurting myself or will it hurt me? Okay, that's not bad. Um, yep, okay. I mean if I get eaten, well, then I guess I get eaten. I not a lot I can do about that. Silver! Yes, absolutely. We will take silver. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take copper too. Why not? How do I... Alright, it's just a light. Can I... Can I, can I climb up? Kind of do the walk diagonal trick, I guess. This is big. I guess it's just here on the side. Probably nothing... Okay, well, that's kind of cool. When you're under an overhang, it stops snowing. All right, pangling, pangling research. See, this is uh, this is why I brought the ping. Oh, is that ion cubes? What is that?
Oh, steam. Cool. What is with the picture? What? Really? Are you supposed to take a... It, it has a selfie mode with the right click button? Alright. Right. Well, I mean, we'll definitely take ion cubes. I guess that's the whole point. So kind of like, uh, magnetite. These... are how you get your, uh, your stuff, I guess. Although we have a lot. We're, we're basically full of stuff now. Now the water and all that will, will help. See, I thought it was becoming day, but apparently not. That's not... Oh, wait, what? That was a polar worm, right? Right? I didn't even see what the frick hit me. But I mean, I didn't... Yeah. I mean, it's, it roared, right? Or was it... Like, what is that? Is that a snow stalker? Yeah. There's another one. I mean, it was a polar worm, was it not? What the heck? I didn't see what it was. But I guess it must have been. I guess it just comes out and gets you. Super annoying. I thought it was supposed to be huge. Well, that's... I have no idea where I am, but if as long as we continue heading northeast, we'll, we'll probably be all right. Run away! Huh. Well... Is that where you need the jump booster for the thing? Lithium? What is that? Looks like lithium to me, but... Maybe I'm in... Here? I don't know. I don't know where I am. This, this is the problem. I mean, it definitely looks like I'm supposed to go that way. But maybe not. That's the weird thing, like, how big is the polar worm? Is it tiny? Oh, maybe this is the way. Am I going the right way now? Maybe. Uh, huh. Oh. 
Yeah, I mean, I see the, the thing over there. Alright, what is... What is the deal with this? Okay, a cave. This is annoying, because I don't even know where I am. Wait. Alien tech, though. All right. Aha! A teleporter. Really? Like, they couldn't figure this out? What the heck? Oh, that's a snow stalker. So this will probably take us to... Is it the, uh, the robotics lab, right? What do you think, Manny? Let's drink some tea. So, yes, the robotics lab. How did they not figure this out? I mean, cure, clearly they were there. You know, clearly they have scanners and all that. So I, does that mean I'm close to the end? Right? I mean, it's a little weird. But, whatever, that's fine. What I should do is bring a beacon with me. That way I can kind of triangulate my position. Oh, yeah. Lighting change, whoops. It's like, no, 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 it's supposed to be dark and mysterious in here. Or, well, it's probably night outside. Now the quest, or day, whatever, now the question is where... Where do I go? Where do I go and where am I? I mean, I'm probably, probably here. I feel like I'm probably here. Um, I just don't know where I need to go up in here. Probably either here or maybe here. And then it looks like maybe you go down here and that cuts through and then you're to outpost zero, I guess. I don't know. But we're gonna run. If that was indeed the polar worm, which it probably was. Like, what's what's this way? Is this where I came from? All right. Oh, no, it's big, but it just spears you, huh? That's kind of a disappointing. I guess as long as you keep moving, you're fine. Or not. Do I need to, like, move from rock to rock, or do I actually need to pull out the thumper and stuff? Like, what? Oh. Didn't he talk about, like, sp spires of ice or something? Like, which way do I go? That's more east. Looks like I need to be up there. Do I need to go around and across? And for what it's worth, that's kind of cool. The polar worm, that you just see its head. Or... 
its mouth or whatever. Probably, maybe down. I don't know. We'll or more of it. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, baby! Leave me alone, you dick! Uh, quickly, 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 four, four. And then, uh, maybe one of these. Okay, it's going away, cool. This is a safe zone? Yeesh. Okay, yeah, he says there's something near my body. I was trying to scan the freaking thing. Oh, wait, what? Why did I jump? Am I going the right way? I don't even know. Another area that looks just the same as every other area. But I'm probably going the right way. Oh, did I not eat the peppers? Oh, maybe I did. Let's get more peppers. Another one. That's fine. Um, yeah. He's like, hey, there's something pertaining to my body around here. Yep. I was trying to scam that scan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They talked about the spires, right? It, again, this is a cool area. I guess probably northeast. It looks like there's something over there. But it's hard to tell. I'm gonna try and heal, but you definitely can take damage. Oh, okay. Let's put the flare as five. Doesn't I might be able to go around that way, and I bet we are in this area. Right? This looks like this area. So let's head. Because there's snow stalkers. You'd think the polar worm would eat the snow stalker. Uh, maybe we can't go this way. Alright, well, let's go this way then. Yeah, towards that thing. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh, you just drop it? Oh, and it scares those guys away too, does it? Well, that's rad. And yeah, I'm using the word rad. I like that word. We probably need to go down, though. But I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's going down, right? Yep, so... How about no? How about leave me alone, you fluffy ham beast? Okay. Now what? Good thing the polar worm didn't drill into this area. Because it's snow, right? Or maybe it's rock. Who knows? Large. Oh, those are emeralds. Right on. I hear something. Oh, a cube. Is, so is this pertaining to the body? What is this? Oh. Oh, it looks like it uh, got smashed under rubble. That's no good. Ah. Uh, that 
is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. The cult preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So, what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. Ah, humor. You have scanned all the components we need to make a storage, uh, body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. So now what? Also, kind of silly that they use emeralds to make ion cubes. I mean, kind of the point of the ion cubes was like they were created from solidified energy. You know, it was because you get to the end and it's like it can it, these things make ion cubes. You're like, holy cow, right? You're watching them being created from like green lightning you're like wow this is amazing it's like oh no no they just you know they're basically just energon cubes um let me ah let's keep going i was gonna i was gonna pause it and go take a piss so we're probably up in this area we're probably like here i still have no idea how to get to outpost zero Maybe that's why you need the jump booster. Take the snow fox, use the jump booster, get across this little gap that I couldn't get across before, and then maybe go up into the ice here. We'll try heading straight south. South and maybe follow the wall. South and maybe this goes somewhere, maybe it goes over here, maybe it goes nowhere. That's also possible, but... Yeah, we have two extra batteries so we can replace the batteries for the thumper if need be. It's turning dark again. I do not like it when it's dark. Makes it, I mean, obviously it makes it way harder to see, right? Okay, that, um... You know, again, it's like super underwhelming. It's like, yay, we have all the components for the body. Ooh, yeah. Big creature, so... Are there snow stalkers nearby, or polar worms, or both? Can we scan it? We can scan ice worm bones. Well, let's let's huddle in this little corner right here. Right, blueprints. Architect tissues, root pustule, that's what you need them for. Synthetic fibers and gel sac. Uh, research. Alien data, architect tissue. A leather-like tissue sample of alien origin. DNA markers indicate a complex mixture synthesized from over 20 different sources. The tissue sample incorporates Advanced biocomposites, resulting in unique mechanical properties. Compression, extremely high compressive strength, protects against external forces, may indicate adaptation to extreme environments. Impact, high resistance to damage from high energy impacts. Elasticity, low modulus of elasticity, allows tissue to conform and stretch in response to body locomotion. Let's see. Copper mining. Well, we don't know what, how far we are from the, like on the map. Anyway, so. All right, what else? Geological data, large emerald. Pure emerald is typically colorless. These large crystals contain trace amounts of chromium leading to the development of the distinctive green color seen here. Mining activity near these crystals suggests they are valued for their applications in architect technology. That's silly. It's like, oh, it's all, all their alien stuff is green because it's emerald. 
Ice worm bones. Scans of the ice worm bones show they have a surprising degree of flexion in them. This likely allows the bones to compress inward when the ice worm is burrowing. A total rigidity in the bone structure might result in deformation of the skeletal structure over time. There's evidence of muscle insertions that would manipulate the compression or decompression of the ice worm's long rib cage. These ice worm bones appear relatively intact. It seems other large land predators in the region tend to were, leave the worm carcass alone after death. Interesting. So I wonder if you can even scan... Well, it's called the ice worm, not the polar worm. Polar worm is way cooler. Eat the pepper. Beautiful. Again. Let's, uh... Follow this for the time being. Follow the edge. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. What are you? Silver ore. Uh, yeah, let's pick up more. More silver ore. Oh, you. No, no, no. I want the silver ore. Yeah, we'll take... That's fine. We took another copper ore. Dude. Ice worm. That means it can get you out here. And the fact that they're here. Ice worm. Yeah, so you probably can't scan it itself. Listening. So I saw the tail pop out. Like it, I guess, grabs you with its tail as well, or it tries to. An extremely large and dangerous leviathan, roughly 95 meters long, with a thick plated exoskeleton that burrows through dense ice shelves with minimal resistance. Plating. The ice worm is covered in a thick exoskeleton with backward facing spikes. The exoskeleton protects the soft upper body of the ice worm as it moves through the ice. The spikes create treads that rapidly shuttle melted water back as it burrows, similar to tire treads. The interior of the ice worm is covered in a thicker skin that doesn't require plating. Superheated horn. The horn of the ice worm is the thickest part of the creature. The inner chambers of the horn are filled with deposits of raw alkali metals that react violently with water, creating an, creating an exothermic chemical reaction. As the ice worm burrows, small microscopic grooves continuously channel water into these chambers, allowing it to burrow with ease. Behaviors. The ice worm is an ambush predator. It relies on sound traveling through the ice to alert it to potential prey. It then lunges through the ice and uses its horn and mandibles to attack. The ice worm can temporarily can be temporarily distracted through the use of sonic devices. Assessment aggressive and lethal avoid. Fair enough. I mean I'm trying to avoid it. I'm trying. Alright. So it is daytime now. Let's continue. Yeah, that thing is Oh yeah, it got eaten a little bit. Oh, that's understandable. Let's continue. Do not. Yeah, it does seem like I move a little bit. Oh, oh you. Where are you? Go away. Whoa, dude. Hey. What are you doing? You're supposed to be... Well, we're going then. You're supposed to be scared off by the sounds. But you're not. The aliens look like they're afraid of water. But they aren't. Let's see if this gets scared off by the sounds. Uh, appears to... Appears the answer is no. Run away! Okay. You gotta charge at it to get it to run. Is this a little area? I can't tell. I mean, it is, but... 
I'm watching my hypothermia. Although, honestly, you'd think running would, um, heat you up. I mean, you'd think it would make you sweat your balls off. Which it does. Silver ore, do we, um, pick up one more. Oh, there's a pepper, if you want the pepper. I mean, we do. We do, but we're gonna eat, uh, one of our little meals in a minute. This is where we were before, right? I think. I mean, we're heading south, so... Maybe we weren't... Maybe we weren't here before, but probably. Maybe we are. I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying to follow the wall. Oh, I know that sound. You jerk! Go away! All right, we'll eat one of our meals now. It's like I'm watching my health too. Thankfully, I'm, you know, I'm healing. I don't even know if I'm going the right way, but I'm kind of just following and, and hoping that we are. Oh, that, I thought that was... Oh, come on, man. Run! Well, okay, more emerald. This is the way I came, f f or maybe not, right, 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 this is the mining area where I found the thumper. So this does actually loop around to, well, the top of it. So now, the question is, how do, how do we build the body? Well, that's a snow stalker. Man, I have to pee. <laughs> Drinking all the coffee and stuff. Did that hurt me? Oh, maybe she just didn't like the noise. All right, snow stalkers. Well, dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm going to. I'm gonna get into my little truck. Get into truck coon. Yeah, again, still... Outpost Zero, how do you even get there? Um... Well, yeah, that was kind of a weird... All right, into the truck. Bam. Well, oh yeah, yeah. We have gathered the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Great, what's next? Let's get you out of my head. First, you must find the fabrication facility. It is concealed at some depths. Fabrication facility? So you planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. So, 
What were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So, what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin. You have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. What do you mean you found the vaccine and then blah, blah, blah? Oh, here comes Manny again. All right, Manny, well, find the facility that's helpful. Uh, do I have a marker or anything? I, I do see you. No marker. So, again, it's a frickin' scavenger hunt, right? Like, you know where it is, but you're not gonna tell me. Right, Manny? Yeah, find this facility, it's deep. Great. Thanks for that. Thanks for that knowledge. Um... Yeah, okay. So, is it under... Under the greenhouse? I mean, we went down to the floor there. Wait, where am I going? We'll head back to the ham base. Um... The only thing I could really think of is... Well, I mean, you know... Kind of rare. <sighs> yeah, that's that's annoying. First, it's like, oh, you got to find these components. Okay. Now find. So the question is basically, where have we not gone? And yes, I see you, and your tail is across the monitor. The question, yeah, I mean, essentially, the question is. Well, it's in the water, and now you're in front of the monitor, like, totally. Um, I'm gonna watch on my second screen, because you're a dork, and you're in the way. I'm trying not to- trying not to ram anything, Manny Cat. Why- Listen. You're such a dork. You have food. Or did you eat all of it? Or, well, he probably wants fresh food. And, you know, I feel like they should have had more conversation like that, where it's like, oh, were, were you a scientist? What, you know, talk... No. No, like, that's why it feels kind of unfinished. I don't know. Um, but alright, let's 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 save here. We're gonna have to switch out our stuff, because we have to go deep now. I... there we go. Sure, yes. Um, right, so that's the- that's the thing, is where have we not gone? You better not try and chew on that. I will smack you if that's the case. You're gonna! Alright guys, well that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um... Manny Cat is adorable, even though he's being a pain. Because he wants food, but now he's being all lovey, because... He's like, oh... I need food. That's what he says. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, let me hear them. If YouTube deletes them, leave them again. Uh, I do read all of them. I do try and respond to all of them. Even though I'm not the fastest at doing so. Uh, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's... Um, uh, I, I actually picked up some corn, like corn on the cob, from... Uh, from the, the grocery store and, and cooked that. It was really good, actually. You just, how I do it is pretty simple. I, uh, I soak it in water, like you fill up your sink a little bit, you just shove it in there, put something on top of it, like like a bowl or something, fill the bowl with water, put, the, put it on the corn so it doesn't float. Soak it that in there for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, whatever. Take it out, kind of shake it off, put it on a plate, put it in the microwave for about seven minutes. And then, uh, you know, pull out of the microwave, let it cool, because it's going to be super hot. It's like boiling. Uh, you know, give it 15, 20 minutes. And then, uh, then it'll be ready. You could put butter on it, salt on it, whatever. I just ate it plain yesterday, but it's perfect. Still really good. But that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. 
and I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.